All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at using PSPY uh, to be able to see cron jobs, which are like a scheduled task, except for in Linux, um, running within a Linux environment. So like in Windows, you know, we can do a get scheduled task, things like that. Uh, with PSPY, it pretty much it just shows us what is running as it runs on a system. All right, so let's go ahead and do a CD. We'll go into tab here. Whoops. We'll do a wget. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to download from my machine over to this machine over here, PSPY64. Now, if it's a 32 bit system, you do want to do PSPY32. If you don't know, you name TAC A. This will show you if it's a 64 32 bit system. We have that underscore 64, so we know it's a 64 bit system, like right there. So now we got to do a change mode plus X for PSPY. All right, we're just going to make it executable, period, splat, period slash. PSPY 64. Alright, and like I said, this is going to go through, it's going to show you all the processes that are running as they run. So there is a, there is different arguments you can put in here, things like that, different command line arguments, stuff. Uh, this box is a little slow, so this might take a minute, but as we start to see stuff come through, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. As we can see, we already see some things, okay, but this is just mostly just regular file system stuff that's happening here. Can we scroll up, we see a little bit up here. Going down, we can see, like, remember, we ran PSPY 64. We see a UID is 33. Usually, this won't be in red. Uh, we seem to have a color problem this time for some reason. Uh, but we can see that the UID is 33. And if I do an ID on www.data, that's going to be 33. <clears throat> However, zero is usually root, right? And we see right here that root is actually running bash var www html temp clean.sh. So we can go ahead now, now that we know that he's running that, we can actually see what that is, right? So we can go ahead and grab that, like right there, and we can cat that var www temp clean.sh, right? And we can see that it's removing downloads. Well, can we change that? We should be able to, mostly because I am www data, and this is within the www folder. So just like in Windows, right, like the exact thing, as long as it's in your directory folder, as long as it's in your home folder, you can change it. Even if it says that you can't, you can delete it. So even if this thing says like, oh no, you can't change this or whatever else, or you can't rewrite it or whatever, which we actually can, because we are group and user, right? User and group, excuse me. And we see this clean.sh, so we actually can uh, rewrite it. But even if we couldn't, we could delete it and just create a new one. So if we do a nano clean.sh, right? And we go ahead and we just do a quick, let's say, um, uh, change mode U plus S for bin bash, which I would not suggest to do in real life. You know, maybe you want to make a reverse shell or something like that, right? But running piece by again, we can wait till that command runs again. And what we can see is that root is running it. So we'll do that change mode for bin bash, thus allowing us to do a bash tag P and then becoming root. So after starting that up again, right, we can see that we ran PSPY. Yep, everything's looking correct, okay. Uh, same exact stuff, right. Uh, U name tag A, like right there, UID 33. Still, you know, this is all www data stuff. And we're waiting for root pretty much to run that clean.sh again. Now, in this box, like right here, we can actually run it manually if we want to. And that's going through the var www HTML um, area and you actually find a .ht password file in there which ht password files do have passwords in them you can then crack that password and you can actually run this manually if you want to uh click it on a little button which will then run it and if it doesn't allow me to run it here that's okay uh we'll go ahead and we'll run it manually we'll show that part but nope we can see that it does actually work we have this bash var tab clean.sh right so it runs it again let's go into an ls tech la on bin bash and we see that we now have an SUID bit, right? So now we have that SUID bit, like right there. We go ahead and do a bash tag P, and we are finished. Our ID is root now, and we have full control over the file system. Hopefully you learned something about PSPY. If you already knew about it, awesome, awesome work. Already know about that. But like I said before, it's pretty much just the scheduled tasks that are running with a cron jobs, which is a scheduled tasker um, on Linux, just as in uh, Windows scheduled task run. All right, so hopefully you all learned something. I'll talk to you all later.